After two weeks in the Berry Islands, essentially trapped by multiple weather systems with 25 knot winds, we eventually settled in, enjoyed our very first unforgettable Christmas aboard, made many new discoveries and many new friends, not to mention beginning our learning process on how to just simply slow down. The time had come for us to say goodbye and resume our journey southward, this time heading for the island of New Providence and Nassau. So meet me on that island Kiss me on that shore Hey, promise me that we'll sail away Yours forevermore. Just promise me that we'll sail away. And I'll be yours forevermore. We got off to a pretty darn good start this morning. Got out of Marina, I don't know, 6.15, something like that. We've been sailing pretty much the whole way. Uh, the way the wind is clocking around, we basically had downwind sail all the way up toward the top of the island to get around Coco Key. And we kind of followed us around and then we did one jibe and now we're kind of headed across the top of it. And as we harden up, we'll be with a beam reach or maybe a little bit of a beat until the wind starts to go behind us again. So we're having some muffins and some coffee. Screaming along, downwind. No complaints for what, so never. We are hoping to be at the uh, west end of New Providence, which is basically Nassau by late afternoon. I hope before the sun goes down, that would be really nice. And if we can keep up our pace, what we're doing right now, we should be able to do that. Get anchored uh, near the park and settle in. And as we sailed to Nassau, we were finally successful at something that up to this point had eluded us. Pulling our dinner out of the sea. After losing lures to a kuda and a mahi, and throwing back a couple of smaller mackerels, we finally brought in a king mackerel. Dinner for days. Happy New Year, everybody. I don't even know how much we filmed yesterday. Oh, my coffee's done. Hold on. So after we got here to Nassau yesterday, we anchored and it was New Year's Eve. And then I don't think we ever actually like 
said anything else for the camera. Yeah, we had a really, really low key. Like, really low key. Like, we all took naps and then woke up about 11.30. We just got to watch some fireworks from the boat, which was really cool. Didn't get any of that, but, you know. So, anyway, today we are going to uh, venture into town, into Nassau, and hopefully find some Junkanoo parade stuff. It's supposed to be going on today, uh, but we couldn't find any specific time or any specific place. So we're just going to wander and uh, hope that serendipity happens and we can find it. But till then, here's, here's our lovely anchorage. This is Clifton Heritage Park. And we're hoping we can dock here and uh, lock up the dinghies and find our way to Nassau. Walking a mile, we've decided to call a cab. <laughs> no! Now we wait. In our defense, it wasn't a mile. Hey, why is this with the dust? Yeah. Exactly. Is the uh, junk canoe celebration still going on? Mm, I think it's already finished. It's already finished. Yeah. It's mostly it started like from 2 o'clock this morning oh. to about uh, right about now. and all the craziness, I got a feeling it might have been a little overwhelming for us, especially with a three-year-old. So maybe things happen as they're supposed to. Is that Minnie's skirt? We still have two dinghies. <laughs> and we have a really tired three year old. Yeah, it is just like it is Now we gotta get him down there somehow. Yeah. That's funny. Our first guest in the Bahamas. Yeah. Just make your way through our phrase paddle boards. <laughs> so we just kind of were anchored right around that uh, point there. You can see Cecilia just brought the dinghy over around to this uh, this park beach, which is pretty sweet, and I guess just out of season because there are picnic tables and beach chairs all over the place. There's what appears to be a snack bar that's not open. Little pagodas with no cloth on them anymore. Daddy. Tire swing. Well, now you've tested it. Let's get safe. Can you try it? All right, all right. <laughs> There's no dogs allowed at this beach. And I'm, I'm thinking maybe no beer either, but here we are. Yeah, so we're just having a little beach day today. 
Kind of relax and chill. It's not hard. Night. The wind has been most of the night it was coming from that direction over there. We had a crazy amount of swell coming in from the ocean. I, it was kind of mystery swell. I mean, I, during the day I thought for sure it was just boat wake from a long way off and uh, we were just catching it in here, but I don't know, in the middle of the night that didn't seem likely. But the wind was super light. And so we were basically side to the waves, just rolling like crazy. It sucks. So Lauren and Jeff wound up both up here camped out on the cushions to sleep or trying to sleep. Not successfully, I don't believe. So what we wound up doing is uh, I had I had put a second anchor out, and I basically just. Uh, Hoisted all the, the line up and the anchor and carried it down the rail and uh, put it in the dinghy. And I drove the dinghy out while Lauren managed to line up here. And it took us two tries to kind of get the positioning right. But uh, we set up a stern anchor and then started hauling in on it just a little bit to pull the stern around, let out more of the uh, road for the primary anchor to get the boat to sit sideways basically and it worked it worked it was uh, not perfect it still still was rolly but not that much so that's a good technique we've I've been aware of it but I've never had to to use it before or try it before so it wasn't that bad but today we head to Nassau so we are about to haul up the dinghy and the motor and we're going to do some work we are in a little bit of work, yeah. We're gonna get the get the boat ship shape and sail about two hours over to Nassau tonight. The wind is supposed to shift around straight out of the west, which will be like 25 knots, blowing straight into this harbor. So that will obviously be bad. All right, got Lauren. A little bit, Captain. Dubs up front. Jaws Beach. It was fun while it lasted. Great place. Anchors up. I hope so. <laughs> Nice 
work, guys. You too. That was exhausting. It's hard to look good and sit in a chair. Yeah, I know. But nobody was watching me, so it didn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> We're going pretty fast. No, we're not. There's no big waves. There's no big waves? Well, we are getting very, very close to Nassau. We can see the uh, cruise ships looming over the horizon with their whale tails proudly erect on top of the boats. Sound weird. Nice sail. Oh my gosh, it's been beautiful today. Don't have a ton of wind, but it's we're doing uh, 6.4 knots in uh, about 10 knots of wind. Cruising along with our buddies, Alibi. Just having a lovely day so far. Apparently we have to call and request permission to enter Nassau Harbor, which is something we haven't done before. I've been kind of listening to some other people doing it. I don't know if they're gonna ask us where we're going or give us instructions. We'll find out. Bahamas, and of course we have to go under it. <laughs> well, there's technically two. Right. Two bridges, right in a row. We have to go under. Made it. We are in downtown Nassau. This is our backdrop. Have to watch all the cruise ships go, come in and out. So that should be fun. Drifted away on an ocean. Thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and ring that bell. And a huge thanks to all our patrons for their additional support. If you'd like to become a member of our crew, just check out our Patreon link in the description. Cheers. Didn't have you to hold me. As the sun sets and miles roll by